Okay, in this webcast we're going to show you how some of the basic functions of the collocations tool on BNC web and we'll use the word that's used in the uh, in the unit so that was dangerous so to get to collocations first of all you do a simple query of course you could do it with a seg uh, one segment of the corpus, we're doing it with the whole corpus Oh, dangerous. Uh, let's see, 5,621 hits in more than 1,800 different texts. So we've got here, which is a page we well know by now, and we use this drop down list, choose collocations, click on go, and you'll get this page. At this stage, don't worry too much about this page, I uh, just submit it, stick to the defaults. And this is the kind of data that you get. Uh, just quickly going over it, we won't worry about information for now, although it's, it's set on collocations. This is the span. So this is three words to the left of our node, dangerous. From, from three words to the left to three words to the right of dangerous in all the different texts. And to, to be shown in this list, the words have to occur together, have to co-occur at least five times. And the collocate itself so the words which are on the list have to occur, well obviously have to occur five times in the in the corpus. <coughs> you can reset these. Okay, at the moment it shows log likelihood. So these are the words, according to this statistic, these are the most the words which are most associated with dangerous. We've got potentially most very dangerous. Hmm, dangerous driving things like that. We've got a nice mixture of words. Um, just to ex show you what information you've got here, so for potentially, um, potentially itself occurs 2422 times in the BNC. So based on uh, an assumption that words can occur randomly in a corpus, we might expect dangerous and potentially to co-occur 0.667 times. Of course it's a false assumption anyway, but that's the assumption that's used. However, what is observed, so what we actually find, is that they co-occur together 154 times. That is a lot more than expected. And they co-occur in 130 texts. So this gives, there's, there's a formula to work this out, and it gives this value. Okay, um, so that's the main information we get here. We also wanted to, to see what the difference was between a statistic and just ranking it by frequency. If we rank them by the words which most commonly occur with dangerous, so we, we just click on s Submit Change Parameters, we'll get a different list. Now, as you can see, and as it mentions in fact in the unit, what we get here are words which are frequent anyway. Um, Although, it's obviously, this is not going to be exactly the same. The ranking of them together is, is this one in, sorry, this one, observed collocate frequency. And you'll notice that it's not just words, it's punctuation too. Um, there is something else that, that's worth uh, showing you. Um, well, two other things, really. First of all, let's say you want to look... Uh, more seems more interesting than the others. Uh, let's look at more. So if we want to see more and dangerous together, you click on this figure here, and it shows you all the instances of more and dangerous. And you can look at them in more uh, detail. You'll notice that we've got some on the right, some immediately on the left, some up to three words either side. If I go back again, I can also check how often, this is quite a nice feature, how often more occurs in each different position. So if we go here, we'll notice three words away to the left are 21. But the vast majority of more is, as we'd expect, immediately before dangerous. So if, in fact, we were only interested in particularly relevant ones, we might change the span to take that into an account. 
Um, and I think that's it for now.